So about that um, uh, video camera run out of space. Um, so we were at uh, our board rate, um, our bits per second. Um, like I said, yeah, 9,600 is what you need and make sure that these are all the same with um, your Vixen 3 and your um, Arduino sketch. Uh, data bits, eight. Uh, parity, none. Stop bits, one. Flow control, none. This should all be exactly the same, really. You should have no problems with that. Uh, if you click on advanced settings, uh, this is where then we're talking about your COM port assigning is where you can assign this uh, Arduino Mega to a certain COM port. Uh, I know for instance that my COM port 3 was free, so that's why I've done assigned it to COM port 3. Um, as you can see you've got a list of over 256 COM ports. <laughs> so go through, try and find it, and you'll be surprised at how many are actually used up. Um, so go through there and make sure that you've got the uh, right COM port that you want it to assign to. So COM port 3 for instance is, is, is my selection. Um, I'm just going to cancel that because obviously I've all saved everything. Um, so that's basically how your Arduino Mega should be set up um, to your computer. And now that we know that Arduino Mega is connected to our computer, uh, and whatever we do from now on we should get um, some information going to our Arduino Mega. So come back out of that. The next thing then you need to look at is your sketch. Uh, Arduino, um, go to the Arduino website again and you need to download um, Arduino 1.54 there may be some more newer versions now um, but this is the one that I'm using um, Arduino 1.54 or, or higher whichever one you want to go with uh, and this is um, basically everything in here is what you're trying to tell your Arduino Mega to do um, this um, for instance is the biggest thing that you need to understand a lot about um, like I said, I knew nothing about this when I first started doing it. Um, I got a lot of help from the doityourselfchristmas.com forum um, where they helped me out. I will upload this sketch to share. Um, it's my sketch that I'm using for my computer. But unless you know uh, what you're doing with this sketch, um, then obviously it will be a bit useless to you. You will need to read up a bit and understand a bit about sketching and coding um, to be able to alter this for your needs. For instance, I'm using 32 channels. So I've I've edited this one. When I got this, it was only a sixteen channel, a twelve channel. Uh, sorry, a sixteen channel that I used last year. This year, I've had to edit it to add thirty two channels in. Um, it's not just about editing there. You've got different points you have to add in. Um, your board rate. This is where here you need to make sure this number here matches up with what you're talking about earlier on. Your serial, your board rate. This is your signal input. Um, here I've got nine thousand six hundred. Again, you need to make sure that's changed. Um, and all these different things you need to add in. You need to work out obviously all your codings and things like that. So you will need to read up and learn a bit about this. Um, but I will upload this one, um, and then you can share this one and use this one if you like. Um, so yeah, so that is your sketch. Once you've got your sketch uploaded and it's all working, you can verify it by clicking on the verify button. Uh, this will then what it'll do is it'll just go through, compile the sketch to make sure there's no coding problems before you upload it. Um, then what should happen after it's compiled sketching? Um, it will then come at the bottom there and tell you a bits and pieces of information that you need to know. But all you're looking for is that um, it's done, the sketch complete. Um, if there's any problems, it will highlight it and it will go through and tell you what the problems are, which is pretty cool. Um, but again, unless you know what that problem is or the code is, then uh, you, you, you're going to be a bit stuck. So once again, you do need to know a little bit about this. Um, so like I said, I will share this sketch so that for everyone to use. Um, uh, hopefully a bit, a bit helpful information for everyone. Um, it's quite a big sketch, so obviously I'm using 32 channels, um, so it's just compiling out. Here we go. Uh, and done compiling, so you know it's done. If there's any problems, it comes up red and tells you not. Once that's done, you then just click upload, uh, and then that will upload it to your Arduino board. Um, once you upload it to your Arduino board, it will go through, and you'll know that it's uploaded because your Arduino board should start um, flashing. Then it will go through a sequence in your LEDs uh, to switch your LEDs on and off to just make sure that you get a signal going to each channel. Um, I will do that... I'll do that now. Let's see if I can get it. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this towards the board, the relay board. And I'm just going to click upload, and then you should see what will happen to the the relays. The Arduino board will load, flash very really rapidly, and then all the main LEDs will start coming on pretty much, um, signalling that I've got an input going to all my LEDs. So it's just compiling the sketch once more, just to upload. Um, and then, like I said, you should see a flashing light in the middle of the Arduino board. Arduino Mega. Um, if it doesn't work and you don't get any signal going to Arduino Mega, it may be that your COM port's not been assigned correctly, uh, your board rates are slightly off, um, you may have plugged the Arduino in after uploading the sketch, so you need to make sure you do it all in the right sequence. Um, and for instance, there, my upload has failed, um, which is quite good because then that's a prime example. Uh, it's telling me there, uploading, and the upload has failed. Okay, so what I'd need to do is I'd need to go, go through everything again. It may be that I've connected the Arduino in the wrong way, uh, my lead might be a bit dodgy, 
um, or uh, nothing wrong with my coding because I compiled the code, code just a minute ago, verified it, and it was fine. Um, so there we go. So as a prime example, it doesn't always work, uh, even though I've, it's worked before. So just go through a few things, change your cables, unplug it, plug it back in, uh, make sure you do it all in the right sequence. Uh, you need to plug the Arduino in first, then upload your sketch, and then uh, everything should be hunky dory and fine. Um, so my sketch is already uploaded anyway, so it's not a concern for that. I won't need to redo that anymore at the moment. Um, so then, hopefully, once you've done that, you are doing your sketches uploaded then to your Arduino board, um, and then it's down to then your um, Vixen three software, um, which is this one here, three point zero eight, up to your Vixen three software to um, 